Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Today I'd like to show you how you can create new, really nice looking KPI cards in Power BI with the default card visual. Yes, you heard me right. Because in the past, remember that it was quite difficult actually to set up real cool, nice looking KPI cards. And what we had in Power BI was the so-called uh, KPI visual. So if I need to go down there, there's a KPI visual included, which is there, this one here. And of course, there were custom solutions. So custom meaning custom visuals, which you can import from the Power BI store. So far, so good. However, these custom visuals always had some kind of issues because sometimes you had to pay for them and other times they were just not allowed, at least in any company environment, which is also a real problem, right? A bummer, so you can't use it. So that's why we also have now more functionality and flexibility regarding the default card visual. And you can see it right there. This is where I created it. This is my total profit, my card visual. And what you can see here is that it got, it got a nice title. It got a value. This is what we also had before, of course. But then it also has here, for instance, the difference regarding the prior year and also the, the margin, which I added here. And of course, you could add any kind of uh, KPI or additional information and display it here. This is just an example which I created, just to test that. And you also see that this is currently highlighted in red because obviously in 2023, we currently have a lower profit than in the prior year. But if I go to 2022, for instance, let me just click this option here. Now you see that it turns into uh, green. So obviously in 2022, we had a higher profit than in 2021. And you also see the profit margin here again. So that's basically what you can create now with the default KPI card. So just to show you how that works, let me just select it here. You see that I added a few, uh, well, information here or labels. So what I did was I went to the format option here and under formats, I used the title option, which is the total profit. That's the default one. But then I also used the subtitle. So next to titles, there are also an option to add a subtitle. If I go here, you can see there's a subtitle. And a great thing for the subtitle is it allows us to create dynamic text for it, meaning this here, this current KPI, so the total profit number, is actually currently in the subtitle, not in the callout value. That's the interesting part here. Now, to add it to the subtitle, we need to be aware that the subtitle only allows text. It doesn't allow a number. So I cannot simply put my measure when I created the total profit directly in here. What I need to do instead is format it. And for that, we have a function called the format function in Power BI, which allows me then to format my uh, total profit uh, KPI here. So this is, uh, let me just check it. I, I think I have it stored somewhere under format. So I need to check that if I search for, let me just search it now quickly. So there is a total profit format. So that's where I simply added this one here. It's just total profit. And by formatting it using the format function, I convert it into text. And by converting into text, then I can actually display it here in the sub subheader. Otherwise, this would not work for the subheader or subtitle. Um, so this allows us to display this here. And then the original or the actual callout value is this part here. So this value as well as this value here. And again, this is just a text because I wanted to have this pipe symbol in between and I wanted to display two of these numbers. And I can do that again the same way. I need to format this here in a certain way so it looks actually good. So again, I can go to my data view here and I can show this to you. If I click this option here, you see that there's a delta label in here and that's this one where I simply calculate the profit. I calculate the profit from the prior year and then I calculate simply the delta and then I just formatted this in a way that I have here my delta, I have my pipe symbol and I have here my profit margin as percentage. And that's just the value which I then edit in here so I can display it like that. And of course, you could also put this, for instance, in uh, parentheses or whatever kind of structure format you want to have in here. But again, this is now possible using the default KPI card. And if you work with Power BI for, let's say, a little bit longer, then you probably know that in the past, you can literally do nothing with it. You can just put a value inside, a title, and that's it for the, uh, the KPI or for the, the default card visual in Power BI. But now we can create these cool looking KPIs. We can also make them uh, in different kinds of colors, as you can see here, what we did. In this case, switch back in here and it's red. And this is really a nice functionality which allows us to create uh, here KPI cards and display them in our reports without having any uh, custom visuals or anything else, which is either quite complicated, you have to pay for it, or it's simply not available in your company, in your organization. 
So that's it for this video. Hopefully that was interesting. If so, give this video a like. Also, please share the video and also please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me and also encourages me to create more videos like that. If you want to see something in specific, just let me know. Uh, I can do videos about Power BI or Python or other kind of things. Just need to ask and then I'll see what I can do. So thanks for that. Take care and see you in the next video.